Welcome back to Alone With You. Let's go sync up our data with the AI core, and then go speak with Leslie in the hollow chamber. Have fun tonight. Thanks. It's time, Nella. You know what to do, I'm sure you'll have fun. Hello again, Nella. I'm just over here, trying out a few new strains of vegetables. What happened with you today? A whole lot. I hope that's good news. The AI said you went to the research dome today. Maybe you found something that will get this work back on track. You know, that dome was my pride and joy, and my favorite place in the whole colony. I probably spent more time there than I should have, but I loved it so much. When those vines began to develop and ruin everything, the Acrodome's labs were thoroughly corrupted. It took a while longer before the research dome became affected. Without access to the main grow dome and its equipment, we were forced to use what we had on hand. But the vines, the vines hadn't reached the garden yet, and so we had a bit more time. But you saw it for yourself. I'm curious, did you find anything that might help with our mission? I just want to take a moment to say that this music is actually pretty cool. I mean, the music so far has been pretty decent, but this track in particular I really like. Okay, um, let's show her the team photo. Oh, oh my, that is interesting. I remember this photo, but now that I see it again, the way Dale was looking at Matsuko. Dale was such an excellent researcher. I think Hudson Carter loved him for the position. He was so studious, so dedicated. They probably considered him pretty low maintenance. And, you know, to be perfectly frank, I never even considered he could express such an interest, let alone in a co-worker. He just never let on. He was strictly about his work. <laughs> I I'm still am really doubtful that we could possibly deduce all this from someone looking at someone else in a photograph. But Matsuko was beautiful, and very smart. I guess she was the one that got through to him. It woke him up, so to speak. I can't say I blame him for his affection. Um... You can't? Well, sure. Guy like him, working day and night with a natural beauty like her. Even without the stress, it's only natural he would fall for her. Did you find anything else in that garden that might help us? Plant research. Ah, I see. I can see the data you scanned now, so that's what we were up to in there. The biggest issue I remember was how difficult it was to get results fast enough. That was the main point of contention between Ashley and me. I was adamant that we needed proper protocols, since we were essentially getting one last good chance to do something. She thought that speed was more important. You see, by the time we went to the research dome, our connection to the AI was tenuous. The atmospheric interference, the lack of power, we could only check in occasionally. Did you find anything else? Uh, Ashley. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that. Despite our differences, I never wished Ashley any harm. As I mentioned last time, Ashley and I had our disagreements, but she was a damn good scientist. At least before we all got desperate. And while Ashley was a valuable member of the team, she was also very ambitious. I don't think I was very good at managing her, or him, or her ambitions. You seem to be dealing with the pressure of this whole situation well. How do you do it? I just have to. I see. 
I guess that makes sense. You're all that's left. Just you and the AI. You know, the one thing about our team that I always noticed was that we were also very different. Different kinds of families, very different personalities. We were like a garden, in a way. Our own little ecosystem. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I was the problem. I could never create that balance that we needed to succeed. Mmm... Well, I don't want to make her feel terrible, but maybe? That's what worries me, I think. That I might never know what happened. But, listen. I actually have been meaning to ask you something. When you finally escape and get back home, what are you going to do? Hmm. Go up again. Try it again. Wow, really? After all this, you'd have the courage to join another colony effort? You really are something else. I think Hudson Cartier has rules about what happens to crews when they return. Psych evals, debriefing, that sort of thing. And who knows what's changed since we've been gone. Public opinion, government regulation, all of it could affect colonization attempts, among other things. With our situation as it is, I wonder how much data they even have on what's happened. Perhaps almost nothing. After 16 years. <laughs> wow. It'll almost be like you're returning from the dead. I'm sure so much will be different. Well, in the meantime, if you end up at the Acrodomes again, can you do me a little favor, since I won't be able to myself? Can you let me know if you find out what happened to Matsuko and Dale? Now you've got me thinking all about them. Of course. Oh, thank you, Nella. That means so much to me. I know it's a lot to ask, but, well, thank you. I think it's probably time for you to get some rest and for me to take some of this new information and get back to work on supplying your ship. It's... it's nice to know that this simulated garden isn't the only bright point I have. Your visits, they're really what keep me going. Until next time, Nella. Please stay safe out there. Hopefully nothing else blows up. I... Nella, please just see me right away. We should talk. That really doesn't sound good. Thank you for coming to see me. I want to apologize for my behavior yesterday. Hmm? I was very curt with you, I know. When you came to see me, it was rude of me, and I shouldn't have acted that way. Uh, what? I don't remember this at all. Uh, I didn't notice? Oh, I, I see. I've been so preoccupied with all the tasks I must do each day, helping you on your missions, crunching data here, not to mention interfacing with the holograms and getting their input to help with the escape ship. It has been very trying. I suppose I have been somewhat overtaxed. I think I'm becoming somewhat confused. How so? Really, Nella, it's no concern. You have a lot to worry about already. I've got things under control. Got two more areas I'll need to explore to get what we need. I know this week has been difficult, but please don't worry. Just head to the shuttle and plot a course. I mean, it's hard not to worry. If the AI breaks down, 
I'm kind of screwed. Let's go to the caves. Good, you've reached the refinery. The crystals you saw in the mines are processed and refined here into usable energy. This facility was considered very dangerous when seismic activity began to compromise the colony. Unfortunately, that meant reduced energy production. We need to see if there's any processed energy stores that we can salvage for the escape ship. Let's see if the refinery is still operational. It sure is quiet in there. I'm not picking up much machine activity at all. There. Uh, there. Those three doors should let you check on the various components of the refinery. This is sort of a dangerous, ominous theme for this place. Uh, I don't think I'm getting in here. Looks a little bit dangerous. Yes. Need to shut off the steam first. Conversion chamber password required. Treatment chamber locked. That place has sustained a lot of damage. The debris in front of you is completely blocking the door to the access tubes. You won't be able to descend to the next floor that way. Let's climb down then. Level 2 tube access. Maintenance control locked. Maintenance corridor. I'm picking up heavy particulates and traces of an explosion through your suit's filters. That corridor must be in ruins. Is that a body? Yep. Charred remains of engineer Hannah Peng, I'm afraid. The condition and position of the remains suggest she was killed by a blast. The destruction of that hallway is the likely candidate. It's possible she was inside the nearby chamber and was blasted out there. Are you okay? Well, I mean, no. It is perfectly acceptable to feel loss, confusion, and grief, even if you didn't spend much time alongside Miss Pang. I'm afraid this will likely not be our last unfortunate discovery, as we still have much work to do. Password required. A lot of locked doors in this place. This tube can go up or down. Let's go up. Is that going to bring me up to the block off place? Yeah, the other side of it. Underneath the rubble of that collapse lies the remains of Project Control Supervisor Ren Nomura. Similarly to Mr. Jagger in the Agro Domes, Mr. Nomura wasn't killed by the debris. He lived for a short time afterwards. You can tell. Your scan revealed scratches in the floor by a metal object. Apparently he wished to record a message. Oh. Is that the password I need? Hmm... Marking on the floor recruit with the message reads. Mm, um, Alright, that's obviously a password of some sort. Um. Well, I can't examine the body again, so I guess I don't have to manually input the password. Let's go down. See what's further down. So, last level, okay. Lower service corridor. 
The explosion on the floor above you affected that area too. A seismic event must have exacerbated the damage, causing the sinkhole. Sub T access room. The reception is really weak down there. I'm picking up something up ahead, very faintly. Is that a drone? Broken drone. It's an excavation model. If you can find replacement parts for it, you should be able to operate it. There's a serial number etched into the drone shell. 7623. Maybe that will be helpful. Let me write that down just in case. 7623. pile of debris is blocking your path. Okay, yeah, so if I can get the thing up and working, I can clear the way. Password door. Was there a password door in here? I don't remember. Yeah. Wait, so I do have to. Oh no, I do have to manually enter it. I totally did not pay attention. Yeah, 7623, the serial number of the droid, was actually the password. That was strange. I went back and I tried to scan the um, the body that had the like hastily scrawled message. And I couldn't re-examine it, so I thought that was just kind of like a bug or something. So I looked up a walkthrough and it said the password was 7623, which is the serial number. I don't know what the hastily scrawled thing was then. I really thought that was the password. What, uh, I mean, why would the serial number be the password to the control room? Anyway, I've got some drone parts here. So parts from another drone that is no longer functioning. You can use these to repair the drone in the underground passage. This isn't everything you need, though. You'll have to find another set to be able to repair the drone down there. Your scan reveals that to be the body of safety supervisor Bill Dupree. He appears to have died of chemical exposure. Likely he somehow carried himself to that control room. He would have been in terrible agony, I'm afraid. Thanks for telling me that. Jesus. Command console. Uh, the readouts from that control room explain a lot. Looks like the reason so much of the facility is shut down is due to some kind of emergency. There were leaks, compromises in key systems, and a general state of disarray. The facility was shut down for safety reasons. That console will let you release the lock to maintenance control on this floor. Maybe we'll find some way to get those chambers open there. Let's open it up. Terminal's local storage has been severely damaged, but I can still read external media such as data cards. Okay, so we're going to find a data card somewhere. So we unlocked something on this floor. Here we go. Ooh, more parts. Good find. Those internals can be used to repair the drone in the underground passage. You've got everything you need. You're ready to return to the underground passage now. That was quicker than I thought. That flexible pipe is carrying byproducts and toxins away. It might be where the steam on the floor above you is coming from. If you pull the pipe out, it should allow you to access that chamber. Are you going to do so? Yeah. Well, I guess before going down and repairing it, let's go back up and find out what's in there. Oh, 
Oh no. It's a complete mess in there. That huge mach machine uses complicated nanobots and chemical solutions to remove dirt and impurities from the mined crystal shards. From here, the pure crystal gets transferred to the conversion chamber, but that chamber is a mess, and the separator looks completely inoperable. That's bad news. Without all these chambers functioning, we can't process new energy for the escape ship. We'll have to see what kind of condition the conversion chamber is in. Damn. Don't know the password to that one. Alright, I guess we have to go down to the bottom now. Let's fix it. Come on, R2-D2, come back to life. Holy shit. Nella, the signal is faint, and I registered a large explosion. Are you alright down there? Well, <laughs> R2-D2 just got up and went. It's like, I have a mission, I have a purpose. And then it just exploded everything that was in my way, apparently. Uh, yeah, all good. That is a relief to hear. Your suit sensors are overloaded. No, your suit sensors are all overloaded, and I feared the worst. In any, case, in any case, I'm glad to see you've been unaffected. It looks like that explosion cleared out the path in front of you. Please do be careful down there. The faint signal is not reassuring, and I wouldn't want you to venture to where we couldn't communicate. Where did that little bot go? Seriously, clear out the way, and then what? Where'd it go? Looks like a sleeping area was set up here. Along the ground are ventilation cables and a micro-generator. Those maintenance tools have been heavily modified. They're portable tools for reading and regulating the processing chambers in the refinery. Someone was keeping offline records on those instead of using the facility's networked readings. Ooh, data card. Those are scraps of handwritten notes by Mr. Lumumba. Snippets of formulae. What-if scenarios and on-the-fly adjustments. Was Mr. Lumumba really tampering with the refinery? Why would he do such a thing? Thanks to him, we cannot extract any useful energy from there. This is most troubling. Alright, let's go read it. Wait, was it in maintenance control? The reader? I don't think it was. No. Reading the data card now. It's a bit slow since the terminal's in such poor repair. There's a file on here I can still read for you. It's called... Lumumba, 0003, mm-hmm. Things are worse than ever. Nomura is getting suspicious. It's getting more and more difficult to work without being noticed. Bill. I think he knows. He's probably on his way to confront me. 
but the seismic activity is getting out of hand. Sound of loud explosion and rumbling. Damn it, another movement. That was a big one. I hope I'm not trapped down here. It sounded bad. Going to need to seal off the chambers to avoid further meddling. I'll switch access codes. They'll know something's up, but it's the only way. Make the code to the upper chambers... filter. It'll have to do. The hell was he doing? If he's trying to somehow help the situation, then why wouldn't he want the others to know about it? And if he wasn't trying to help, then why? Oh, this doesn't look promising. The crystals that are fed in the conversion chamber are cracked at a molecular level and turned into microscopic pieces. Think of it like a melting process. Except the crystals don't melt, they get converted into millions of tiny particles, like an extremely fine sand. This makes them light and soluble in a transport solution so they can act as fuel. The results from here move on to the treatment chamber. Just like the separation chamber, this machinery has been heavily damaged. We don't have the time or ability to repair it like this. Hmm. I don't have high hopes for this. This final chamber takes the particles from the separation chamber, combines them with transport solution, and then removes harmful byproducts. The result is the final energy fuel that's used to power the colony, in a form that's easy to transport and reasonably safe. But in this condition, the chamber won't help us at all. Entire components of the machinery have been removed or damaged. Poor Bill Dupree must have been in this room when it went off. To think that he managed to make it down to the control room in this condition. Well, I'm afraid we've wasted our time. There's no hope of extracting any useful energy from the refinery for the escape ship. What's more curious is that the planet's seismic activity wasn't completely to blame. It appears the facility was seriously tampered with. In any case, there's nothing more we can accomplish today. When you're ready, return to the surface and let's get you home. Hopefully Lumumba in the Hollow Chamber tonight can answer some of these questions. What a waste. What happened in there? I dare say I think you should ask Mr. Lumumba tonight about this. We're in quite a position now. My goodness, that was quite a day. Well, you better get up here. Alright, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna go confront Lumumba. <laughs>